Hi everyone, it's Miss Charmaine and I'm so glad you're joining me today. I'm very excited to go to the Wonder Clubhouse. We're going to see Zoe and, and she's getting ready to have a party at the park with all her friends and they're going to make kites. Isn't that awesome? And then we're going to get together with Justin the Mailman and he's going to tell us a story about good friends. So let's get ready. We're going to have a lot of fun. Everyone get ready and stand up so we can sing and dance and do our countdown. And I'll see you in a little bit. We've got markers, string, 
What else do we need? Oh, hi there, friends. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Zoe, and I'm so happy to see you today. You can help me set up for a big party. Can you guess what type of party it is? It's a kite decorating party. My friends and I have been having so much fun playing with our kites that we want to make sure everyone we know has a kite. So we're all going to meet at the park later today for a special kite party. I can't wait. We invited our neighbor, Sean. I bet he's going to decorate his kite red because red is his very favorite color. We also invited my grandma, Annie. I bet she's gonna call her her kite bright purple. She loves anything purple. We also invited Kai's cousin, Marie. I bet she's gonna call her her kite a tie-dye kite. It's gonna be so cool. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello there, Zoe. Who? Who? Planning a special party, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. My friends and I are all meeting at the park later today, so I can share all my supplies so everyone can make a kite. It will be a kite making party. Sharing with our friends is a great thing to do. And I have just the story for you. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Marquise, hope you're having fun in Florida. Your friend, Justin. Oh, hi there, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. And today, look at this, I'm sending my own mail. My friend Marquise just moved to Florida with his family and I'm mailing him a postcard to let him know that I'm thinking of him. Good friends are the best, aren't they? Which is what today's story is all about. Are you ready for a story? Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Today's true story from the Bible begins with Jesus' friends who wanted to love people like Jesus loved them. So do you know what they did? Ask me, say, what did they do? <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. They shared. If someone needed a coat, they gave him one of theirs. If someone needed a place to stay, they shared their home. If someone didn't have something to eat, they would give her something to eat. Jesus' friends were super sharers because that is how Jesus loved people. He shared with everyone. Jesus' friends spent lots of time together. They ate and talked and laughed. They loved each other because Jesus loved them. And do you know what else they would do? They would praise God. This showed everyone that they were friends with Jesus. I want to do that too. I want to be a friend like Jesus. I want to share with my friends so they know Jesus loves them and wants to be their friend forever. Raise your hand if you want to be a friend like Jesus. You do? Oh, oh, and you do too? Okay, raise them up high, as high as you can. Higher, higher. <laughs> yes, let's do it. Let's be friends like Jesus and share so that everyone knows how much Jesus loves them. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. The people were friends and loved each other, just like Jesus showed them to. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, that was such a great story. I love that people shared so everyone had what they needed. They were being loving and great friends just like Jesus taught them to. 
I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm so happy that I get to share all the supplies with my friends so everyone will have a kite. I'll see you next time. Bye! How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, Ephesians 3.18. How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, Ephesians 3.18. Hi everyone, I'm back. Oh, wasn't that fun? I love that Justin the Mailman told us a story about Jesus' friends. They were such good friends to each other. They loved each other and they shared everything they had. And Jesus taught them to be like that. So I'm gonna try to be a friend just like that too. And I hope you are too. And I enjoyed seeing Zoe. I bet she's having so much fun at the park with her friends and the kites. I loved being with you and oh, 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 yes, let's, let's work on our special words this month, okay? Will you help me? Okay, let's see how we do. How, why, and long, and high, and deep, I'm touching my knees, is the love of Christ. Ephesians 3, 18. Yay! Oh, you guys did a great job. Thank you for helping me. Let's remember our special words and try to have love as big and wide as, and long as Jesus does, okay? I'll see you real soon. Have fun, be safe, and God bless you.